Hey everybody, it's Matthew of Mr. Domestic here at the Fat Quarter Shop Studio to teach you all how to make an easy breezy holiday stocking. I have two fabrics pulled from the Art Gallery Fabrics Winterland Edition Bundle Up. Ooh, they're fat quarters. This is going to be the outside. I have it pressed on the fold. This is going to be the lining. Then I have this pre-cut template that's available. And then I have two 14 inch sheets that are 80-20 silky blend from Happy Cloud, yay! And it just happens to be the perfect size. Boom, look at that, look at that. So now we're just gonna get our cutting on, cut all of this and um, take it over to the sewing machine and I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to make a homemade handmade stocking. Ta-da! So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the batting first because it's on there. For part of it, I like to use a ruler for the straight lines just to make sure that they're ting ting. I'm doing this for Kimberly. Look at me, I'm rotating it, I'm rotating it. <laughs> and then, now just cut around the curve, cut around the curve. The batting is cut, now I'm going to cut out the lining and the exterior at the same time. And I cut this off and saved this for the little hanger tab right here. This will go on the outside, this will go on the inside. I'll show you the preparation for that later. So now that we have all of this, I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and show you how to sew it. First, batting, lining, Like that. Boom. Like that. And since it's a smaller project, you don't necessarily need to baste the batting in place. Right here. Dun da. Dun da. Dun da. Dun da. Dun, dun, like this. Now I'm gonna take this over to the sewing machine, get some stitching on. Yay! So I cut these two strips to two inches by six inches and I am going to stitch this with roughly a quarter inch. With something this size, I don't necessarily feel like I need to go over and press it. But I'm going to turn it right side out and then edge stitch it. There we go. Now I'm just going to edge stitch here, uh, roughly in between the edge and an eighth of an inch. And let me increase it to three millimeters length. Look at that beautiful Aurifil 50 weight thread. Top stitches amazingly.
One other thing that I would do, because this is an exposed seam, just to clean it up, is to use a zigzag stitch. I'm just gonna do it at the standard five and two. Make it a little bit longer, to 2.5. And then they just go around the perimeter. So, I've turned it right side out. Ta-da! It's almost done, and now I'm just going to attach the, the hanger loop in the back. I put it, I've centered it to that back seam. And at first, I'm just going to tack it in place with a couple stitches. I'm doing it at about an eighth inch, so it's inside the seam allowance. And then I'm going to fold this over now on the inside. and clip it, and I'm folding it over at about a half of an inch. I'll clip it all the way around. Like so, and one thing I really wanted to show you this is because I've removed it, but then this is too tight for this to fit in, that I'm just going to stitch it on the inside and go backwards and gradually move it as I go. And this gives me an easier eye so that I can appropriately edge stitch here. And there we go. And voila! So now all I have left to do is to press it to make it look holiday ready. And you can hang this on your mantle, on your door, on your window, on a wall. You can hang it anywhere. And now it is ting ting crispy awesome! Yay! This is as easy as I can think to make a holiday stocking. There are exposed seams in the inside, but this makes this process 10, 15 minutes to make, perfect for a beginner, even could be an older child project, quick to make a bunch of these to hang everywhere on your mantle around the house. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, then make sure to subscribe to the Fat Quarter Shop YouTube channel. Give it a thumbs up. Put a comment in there. Tell me how many of these you're gonna make, how much you love it, what you are planning to do for your holiday sewing, and then head on over to the Mr. Domestic YouTube channel and subscribe there as well. So have fun making this holiday stocking, y'all.